Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is going to show you the Word 2010 new interface and the new elements within it. Now if this is the first time that you've been into the Word 2010, notice here this is the big area of difference here. It's called the ribbon. Now you can turn the ribbon on and off so you can display it or hide it, but the ribbon is where you'll find all the commands within Word 2010. It replaces all your old menus, toolbars and tasks panes in 2003 and previous versions to that. It's designed so you can find your commands really quick in two clicks in short. So if I wanted to put a picture in I would go insert, go to the illustrations group, click the picture and the picture's in there. So it is a nice easy way of working it is good the ribbon consists of these tabs and then each tab has got its set of groups so you've got your clipboard group you've got your font group where you could change the font face the size of the font make it bold italic underline some people like to work with the dialog boxes well you can still do that you just click on this little button and that will launch the dialog box for you so now you can see it's like the old style dialog box, you know, strike throughs, you know, change of font, bold italic size, text effects. So it's really nice way of working. Now I'll just get rid of that because I don't need that. Now this is your ribbon, like I say. This little button turns it on and off, so you can display or hide it. You can do Control F1 on the keyboard if you prefer that, but it is a nice system. Then we've got this little feature here. This is what you call your view ruler. Notice I've got my horizontal ruler and my vertical ruler. I can turn them on and off. And if I do turn them off, but then I still want them, all I have to do is hold my mouse there and they'll pop up. That's a bit slow for me, like, but it's still handy to know that you can do it. Do you mean? Um, I'll put it back on just for the sake of this. Now, You've got your scroll bars as normal, nothing new about these, but you can drag them down or you can go one line at a time down and one line at a time up. If you've got a couple of um, pages in your document, when you scroll these up and down you'll notice now you get your page 1, page 4, 3, 2, depending on what page. So if you're on a big document then that would be really handy to know what docu what page of the document that you were in. But it's literally just showing you it. Now notice there isn't a horizontal scroll bar and that's because we don't need it as yet. Now if I just click and drag that up and zoom in just a bit, notice now we've got one so I can go left or I can go right. Yeah, pretty much that simple. So you only get them when you need them in short. Then down here you've got your browse by object, so you can navigate through your, your documents through different objects. If I just click on that for you, notice here you get your palette. Now you can browse by page, by section, by comment, by footnotes, endnotes, fields. You can go to, you can use the find, you can do it by edits, headings, graphics or tables. Now if let's say for instance I select table, I click on the table there, notice these turn blue. Now when I go on to them, notice I said previous table and next table. And I, I know it's on an object because it's blue. If I turn it back and say page, notice now they're automatic colour. Previous page, next page. But it is a nice way of navigating your document. These are your zoomers, so you can change the magnification of your document. You click on that, it increases. You click on that, it decreases, showing you the results there. You can use your slider like I did earlier and zoom in manually. Nice way once you get used to it, really good. Then you come over here and you've got your document views. Now, this is the draft view. That is the equivalent of normal view in 2003 and previous versions. Then you've got your outline view. You've got your web page, uh, page web page layout to show you what it's going to look like on the internet. You've got a full reading pane and then you've got the print layout which is what's on screen at the moment. This little area across here, this is your status bar and notice where my little mouse is, where my pointer is. Notice I turn my cop blocks on, it's showing me that it's on. Turn it off. Now you can customise this, all you have to do is right click 
there you go there's all the things you can turn on and turn off word count I quite like that line number I use that quite a lot signatures yeah now down here you've got the three view shortcuts the zoom and the zoom slider there you are look they've all gone if I turn them back on there's the slider back there's the zoom and there's the shortcuts so it's you can turn it on and off brilliant nice little way now the next thing I'm going to show you is up here and it's the file tab now when you click on the file tab this is where you go into what we call the backstage view and this is what you will do on the file but not in the file so you would save save as open and close yeah the information section is where you can set permissions and you can prepare for sharing you can do your versions and manage your previous versions recent you can do see what documents you've had open recently and where you've put them you can go to new for new templates or certificates cards calendars and then you go to print this is your print preview and your printer settings you can save and send so you could send it as an email you could send it to SharePoint or you could save it as a PDF and then you've got the help and then you've got the options like you did have the old options in Word it's just in the backstage view now and then you've got exit meaning exit the document now I'm not going into it in too much detail now because I am going to do a full video on just the backstage view to show you everything about and what's in it and things like that so just look out for my next video the backstage view yeah to come out to the backstage view you could click on any other tab I've just clicked on the own tab I'm back in the, the word section then you've got this little fella up here now this is what we call the quick access toolbar now you can customize this to suit yourself and it it's for the most regularly used commands now I click on that little button and that opens my menu notice I can put new open save email print preview quick print see the little printer I'll turn it off there it's gone okay I'll put it back on because I do use it so print preview quick print sorry there you go it's back on you can customize this and put any command you want on there let's imagine that I want to use shading I just right click on that button I say add to quick access toolbar notice now it's in the quick access toolbar if I go to let's say mailings and I click on start mail merge right click on it sorry add to quick now it's up in the quick toolbar now I would put my most commonly used commands in my quick access toolbar I would hide the ribbon I would hide the ruler and then I would reposition this now all you do to reposition it you just drop that down and you say show below ribbon now there you go look I would have my most commonly used commands along here and no clutter in my eyeballs and I would just work away happily that's how I like to use word if I want a ribbon or a command on the ribbon that isn't displayed in my quick access toolbar I can just literally click that and notice the come and I can get to anything that I want fabulous way of working what I will do I'll just put things back to normal so I'll change that I'll put that back to the top and I'll put the ruler bars back up that's your main interface I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful if you want to um, subscribe to our channel we if you we do requests if you do so if you want to know how to do a mail merge or if you want to know how to put tables in a document or whatever it is just go to our channel subscribe per requesting and we'll do you a video just as soon as we can I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for your time and thanks for watching don't forget to check my other videos out bye